the gesture was so unpredictable and so violent and so fast, especially. I just had time for, for, for one frame and I was shocked as well. And the first thing I did was I, I'm looking, you know, around me to, at my colleagues saying, did, 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 you know, did, you, did you see what happened? And my second reaction was one of, damn, I missed the actual headbutt. I mean, there are good photographers and there are very good sports photographers. And in my career, I have found that sports photographers are very good with their reflexes because they have to be. In 98, when France won the World Cup, I was uh, you know, working in Asia, covering a lot of riots, covering a lot of violence, covering situations where things happen fast. You develop those reflexes as well. The picture was taken during the 2006 Football World Cup final between France and Italy. Of course, uh, the match was important in many ways in that Zidane, who had uh, been a World Cup winner in 98, one of France's most amazing players, was competing in his last game. For a wire service, if you cover a final, it's not me alone in the stadium. There's a team, I think we were at least 10 or 12 photographers in that stadium covering that game. I was very high up in the stands on the side and I'd been told to do shoot anything except the classic football picture, which is two people and a ball. Before the match, I shot some of the spectators. And there you have Zidane, you're the best, or I can't remember, Zidane, something about Zidane. So obviously he was already an iconic figure within French football. After full time, I can't say I had one single nice picture from the, from the game. It started with, uh, I noticed, I noticed uh, Materazzi marking Zidane quite aggressively in the box and uh, there's a lot of pulling and they started speaking to each other so I kind of zoomed in and I thought okay maybe maybe something happens maybe there's some emotion so I'm 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 on the two of them and of course nothing happens I don't even I didn't even take a picture I mean nothing happens Zidane walks away he walks almost out of my frame and then he walks back and I'm still somehow on Materazzi and suddenly he just that, that, that gesture, and, and I just, almost like a nervous react, like a knee-jerk reaction, I just took, took, took one picture, just one frame. It's the focal point of this, this career, this final, and this moment. Uh, it's just, it's all right there in this kind of tragic occurrence, in a way. Looking at his reaction, you almost feel as though he felt uh, justified in headbutting Materazzi and that he was trying to explain that to the referee. A month later, I got a little email from AFP just saying, oh, your picture is the most downloaded picture of the World Cup. You feel like, okay, well, that's always gratifying. Thank you, yeah, good. Yeah, good, good job, whatever. But then what happened at the end of the year was that uh, that's when I realized how popular the picture had become. When you look at the various end of year slideshows, of course, the picture figured in most of them that you had a whole career, an amazing career coming to an end in one of the most spectacular ways possible of a World Cup final where France could have really won.